Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Sword. I think that was the first perfect one I got. In the last episode, we beat the rock type gym, beat up Gordy, got the rock badge, all that jazz. Learned a bit more about the Sword and Shield Pokemon, at least theories anyway. And now we're back here on Route 6. Why? Because one of my viewers from the streams uh, traded me the uh, the pro proper fossils that I needed. So, hmm, you've got some fossils, huh? Will you show them to me, Carolus? Which fossils do you want to show? Uh, uh, shall go by the highest standards of Carolus. Fossilized bird. Fossilized Drake. Y yes, please. Horrors upon horrors. Dracozolt. See, that looks like it's in less pain than than uh, the than the than the damn dinosaur one because it's not as cold. However, it does have a very wicked cross section there. Dracozolt, the fo uh, the fossil Pokemon, with its exposed cross section there, it is very prone to infections. God, this thing is so gross. Uh-oh. I'm considering something. Let's name you... Uh... You know what? Since I'm so keen on that term... I'll just call you cross-section. I almost want to use that in my party over, over Arctazult. Alright, we got one more. Oh, what? That, that's not right. You need fish, and you need Drake. <laughs> Stick them together, and here we go! Yep, it totally Dracovish. Which is apparently the one that everyone's been using competitively. Oh lord. <laughs> Hi! Dracovish, the fossil Pokemon. Of all the fossil Pokemon to come out of the Gala region, this one like appears to be in the least amount of pain and has the le uh, the most trouble-free birth. Good lord. I can only imagine how this thing walks, so I'm naming him Waddles. Send a box. I probably should have checked out their, uh, their stats and moves first. This is <laughs> Someone in my chat makes a very good point. Uh, it appears that these are things out of the Spore Creature Creator. See, this one doesn't look bad. This one looks like it's in less pain than the thing that then helped me. Which is why I named it Help Me. Uh Tackle, Thundershock, and Charge. Walls is tackle, water gun, protect. I'm assuming it doesn't get good dragon type moves until much later. Less attack, higher special attack. Seems to be more defensive than anything. I think I'll keep uh help me. Just because, like, it's it's earned its place as as the the drummer. <laughs> oh lord, let's go back to Sir Chester quickly before I change my mind. According to chat, the Pokedex entry for Dracofish in Shield says that it can run very fast, but it can't breathe air. Water type Pokemon, true and true. So I guess in terms of what we have for the band, we have our I don't know, she could probably be guitarist or bassist. One of the two. Our drummer, of course. Our singer. Our executive producer. And our keyboardist. We just need an uh another guitar or bass player. Well, we're on Route 9 now. On the road to Route 9. Fishing? Fishing! F guys, fishing! Fishing. 
Fishing? <gasps> Fishing! An Octillery? Wait a minute. Oh my god, it evolves again! That's gotta be it! We heard about like the Octo Punchy or whatever it was called. So unless there are two Octopus Pokemon, I'm led to believe that this thing evolves again. Either way, I gotta catch it. Do I have a lure ball? Net ball. I don't have a lure ball, but I do have the net ball. I'm confirming, I'm getting confirmation by chat that uh, Octillery does not evolve again. Well, it is a time saver because that means I won't spend time trying to level it up to see when it evolves. Octillery's data will be added to the Pokedex. Octillery, the jet Pokemon. Often shooting ink and water out of its snout, it can also sometimes breathe fire. This is due to the ink pouch getting into its burning core. I have no idea what this thing is or why it has a burning core. I'm gonna name you... Taco Bell. There's a fisherman here. Do you love fishing too? I can tell you what, I just love fishing. Swap Pokemon. Shmallow. Held item. Given item. Hal. Meaning a trainer, uh, meaning a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. Fisher Harriet. <laughs> I was about to call her Harriet Fisher. Barascuda. Let's put our new move freeze dry into work. Never mind. Yes, go ahead and use your dive, Barrascuda. It won't save you from being frozen to death. Yeah. Lantern. I'll keep the current Pokemon. As long as this one doesn't dive again. Freeze dry! Freeze dry! Freeze dry! Freeze dry! Haha! <laughs> Meaningless. I'm starting to realize now just how bad of the typing how how just how bad Hal's typing is. Cause it re Well, it does compensate for one weakness. Steel. But aside from that, it only resists its own types. Whoa, what was that? I just jumped out of the water. Well, I'm going fish. All right, I forgot. I keep forgetting electricity resists flying. Ah! Ah! Oh, the flashbacks! The flashbacks! How dare you kill my donkey? How dare you kill my donkey? <laughs> Hold on. It's not the same Pokemon. It's a different. This is a different Pukamuku. I shouldn't. Mm. Ah! a Nuzlocke where everything's going great. You run to something, you don't know what it is, and you try to kill it because you think it's poison type by using a ground type move and it just counters it and kills your donkey? 
Kyukamuku, the sea cucumber Pokemon. This thing is a jerk and will kill donkeys at its uh, at its leisure. Much often to the dismay of the trainers who own those donkeys. I mean, I like to give a nickname to Pukamuku. Jerk. Moving on. We're on. Hey, Gastrodon. Pelipper. Marini. Oh no, maybe these aren't Marini. Maybe they're Toxapex. Hello, Shaking Grass. Are you. Oh, Black Betty. Cramorant. Ooh, freeze dry is perfect against this thing. Hey, ow, stop it. No, ow, I said stop. Oh, shoot. I told you to stop. And you kept doing it anyway. Now you're paralyzed, and now you're going to be frozen to death. So now you're dry. <gasps> we forgot to go clothes shopping. That's the most, that's the most important thing. Get back up there and get to that boutique. All right, we're riding to the boutique now. Guys, we almost made a giant mistake. On top of that, I need to make a new trainer card. God, what was I thinking? How about a jacket? It will really, uh, really emphasize your broad shoulders. I have a high body temperature, so I'm fine with thin clothing. I need to choose outfits that really help bring out the cuteness of my po of the Pokemon I'm with. Shop till you drop. A torn top. Very punk. Ooh, nasty plot. Astonished Eevee. Payback Pikachu. Did they get these wrong? Nightshade. Graffiti over the champion. Scary face. On a master ball. Three fourths three fourth sleeve uh button front top. Well, here's the thing, the Eevee on the back is pretty astonished. And I think the Pikachu got plenty of payback. Varsity jackets. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuzzy pastel parkas. Dresses? I haven't worn a dress yet. Got something in black, because that's always stylish. Jeez, $52,000. Casual white sneakers. I should probably get rid of the socks. Wait, what? I don't want the jacket. Oh my god, trapper hats. Wrapper on sunglasses. I think I need to get a trapper hat. Yeah, I'm clashing right now, so I need to get rid of these socks. I think I'm also gonna get rid of the the, uh, the overshirt and just have the dress with the trapper hat. Uh, remove. You cannot. Uh, do I have any options? I do have options for shorter socks. Oh, leggings. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. I'm not going to change my league card until I actually get a chance to redesign my league card. Well, <laughs> to the uh, Trapper Hat's not really going to come in handy if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, walking around, uh, or if I'm riding my bike. 
Hello. I changed my hair, then I have to update my lead card. I can't decide on the perfect hairstyle, so I just keep doing that over and over again. Even the same hairstyle can look completely different on people. I'd like to do my hair, please. Alright, well, the pixie cut was good for a while. Let's keep going with Sideswept. Romantic Tuck, High Pigtails, Ponytail. Pigtail Braids, Long and Straight. Braids, Curly Bob. Short Bob is what you have to, as default in the start. I like the ponytail. Let me see how it looks with other, uh, with other, um... Let's go with the side swept bangs, and we'll make it a black ponytail. We're, we're, we're going to be very chic and stylish this time around. Well, the red eyes would complement the black hair pretty well. Now reprint the league card. Do the makeup. Thick eyebrows. Thin eyebrows. Eyebrow color remains the same. Let's do the doll eye extensions. How should I look? Ooh, a lovely pink. Purple, maybe. Ooh, that complements the, the, uh, that really well. Blue lipstick. Going through that goth phase. I don't think purple and blue go well together, though. Ooh, that looks nice. Very icy. What's ultramarine? Like a solid blue. I don't have the hat anymore, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my my goth phase for a little while here. All right, let's head back to the Pokemon Center and reprint our trainer card. I'm stuck. There we go. All right. Uh, use card maker. Make a new league card. We got new backgrounds. Perfect. I don't want it covering up Bob. Ooh, so it looks like a Polaroid photo. Perfect. Well, let's see. Do I have any new expressions? No. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ice, so icy. Oh my god. Ooh, I like this pose. <laughs> I like this pose too, very JoJo. Man, if you could just, if you could put on like, uh, Kabuki makeup, that'd be amazing. Dab. I like that one, very dynamic. Perfect. We haven't gotten checkered foil yet. There we go. All right. Let's get back to that root. The the root the root. I didn't talk to you yet. Yeah, it was really fair to catch a vanilla, but uh, catch Pokemon is just a young person's game by gum. I'd be glad if you uh, trade with your vanilla for my throw. I don't think I have a vanilla. -ish. Perhaps I'll ask another trainer. He seems sad. Dynamic pose in my goth phase going after uh, all that jazz. That seemed like the perfect place for a secret item, but I guess not. I want to show off my clothes here, damn it. 
All right, well, Hal is... Why didn't I heal my Pokemon? Hello. My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? Yeah, I am. Dancer Zoe. There it is. The icy cold Darumaka. I'll show you what for with some ancient powers. Headbutt. Static. Oh, if you were a wild Pokemon, this would be perfect. But you're not. So that means I gotta kill you. Well, let's go with a nice avalanche here. Sending out Blossom. Um, keep current Pokemon. I'll heal Hal. Someone's asking in the chat if Hal's on the team for pity reasons. Do you see those hands? Perfect for playing the piano. And the constant shivering means we're gonna get some great uh, staccato. Oh, I, I am faster than this Blossom. Hal's got like a weird like mid-tier speed out of like all the Pokemon in the game. Piano, you said keyboard is same thing. Same thing. The voice grew level 46. The voice wants to learn toxic. Uh, maybe when we go through the death metal phase, but we're not there yet. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. For a, every time it pauses on that on that on the black screen for long, there I keep thinking it's gonna like something's gonna evolve. All right, well it's it's clear to me that I'm getting like Surf or something soon. Hello. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spikemouth, and that means we can't let you uh, go onto Route Nine. Time's Yell's duty to cheer on uh, these lovely dreadnought. We also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Bye bye. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it uh, so that Rotom bikes can ride on water. Why we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So you think you could do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? It's our duty to protect Dreadnaw. That means you're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. Looks like you need a bit need convincing. So how about a Pokemon battle? Yes. I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnaw, of course. Oh no, wait. That was that was the other one. That was the one with the with the banner that kind of looks like a body pillow. Every time it comes into battle, it just goes. It's so weird. This thing's faster than a line noon. I'm really glad I didn't use Avalanche. Maybe I'll get rid of Plux since I already have a physical type, uh, a physical type, um, flying move on, uh, Neil Pert. I have to send out Pangoro. Huh? Well, I'll send out Neil Pert. Huh? One, uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't know why, but a panda versus a gorilla may, seems like a good fight to me. Hi, Jojo. Bullet punch. Glad I switched out. Uh, help me! He's bullet punch. You know what that means. Wants to learn wood hammer. 
Because here's the thing, that's a really good grass type move. But it has a big drawback. I can always reteach drum uh, drum beating. <sighs> I want to go back to Spike Myth. I really do. Sixty-four hundred for winning. Gosh, she's gonna uh, she's gonna ride the Dreadnought. Oh, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought, ride it uh, first, and ride it away. All right, get a move on, Dreadnought. Dreadnought, see you later, Jim Challenger. Bye bye. Seems you come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? It'd be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on water, too. That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface. Just for you. You obtained the Rotom bike. I already had one. Bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom and the Turbo Water, yada, yada, yada. All right, all right. With the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the way, when you're uh, riding on land, we call it Land Mode. Well, we got to get back up this way then. Because aside from fish jumping out of the water, there was also something, uh... Well, there was also something we could do in the- Ah! Oh my god. Oh, it was Mantike that was jumping out of the water. Oh man, I was hoping I can go this way. Very deceiving. Oh, I can still, like, fast travel here. Hmm. Ah! 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 TM64 Avalanche! Hi, Glalie. Hi. A very strong looking Glalie, you say. How much stronger? 55. Oh, okay. This shall be a battle to end all battles. Smogsworth, I choose you. Wow, Glalie's using double team. That might be an issue. <sighs> Toxic! Hold, Smogsworth, hold! Excellent! Da 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 da. Hmm, I don't think I could survive another hit against that. Look at Shmallow. Freak Boy is going to have his day! I'm not a. I'm not one to steer away from a. Oh, it's got Ice Bunny. But Toxic will do more and more damage to it as time goes on. And we don't necessarily have to stall it out. For example, I am using Confusion on it. That, oh, right, as, as double team. Maybe I will have to stall this out with Toxic. If I keep missing. I'm glad I have Freak Boy. I'm real glad I have Freak Boy. Alright, I think it's at max damage for Toxic. Lily is protect. Lily's slow and painful demise. Ice body. Down it goes, though. If I can hit it with one more confusion, I can guarantee killing it. Freak. Ah, oh, boy. Well, I gotta wait till next turn, then. Unless... 
dead. Whew. And look, Freak Boy gained a level from it. I think it was worth it. Let's. Oh! Quillfish! Uh, I think, you know, Quillfish won't die to a freeze dry. And even if it does, I don't care. Nine damage per hit there, good lord. Please stop. Please stop. I really can't handle another, another hit from you. Well, it died. But I am getting good experience and good marbling. All right, well. Onwards we go, back over to the area we were at before, getting this bike. And next time on Pokemon Sword, we're going to be continuing onward, exploring this route on our new water bike. And who knows, maybe we'll explore other areas with the water bike too. See you all then. Later.